with more than 35 nations, 30,000 people, and a million components working together, we share one simple goal, to illuminate the way to new energy. The ITER tokamak consists of a dizzying array of components, from its innovative heating and cooling systems to the plasma-facing units that bear the immense thermal and electromagnetic forces unleashed inside the machine to create the fusion reaction. But in its heart will live three sets of giant magnets, the 360-ton D-shaped toroidal field magnets, or TF coils, procured by Europe and Japan, the ring-shaped poloidal field magnets, or PF coils, supplied by Europe and Russia, and the 17-meter-tall central solenoid produced in the United States. Coordinating with other coils inside and outside the vacuum vessel, these magnets will confine the super-hot plasma along magnetic field lines, causing ions inside to fuse together and release energy. This month, under strict hygienic safety standards established during the global COVID-19 pandemic, two TF coils arrived at the ITER worksite after 30 years of collaborative design, international negotiation, and precise manufacturing. The first TF coil, number 9, arrived from Italy last week, under contract from the ITER European Domestic Agency Fusion for Energy who will build 10 of the 18 TF coils used in the ITER machine. Fusion for Energy and Europe have just delivered the first superconducting magnet for the ITER project. This huge piece of high-tech equipment has been in production together with European industry, several mid-sized companies who have taken the risk to work on this challenging project with us. The arrival of the first European TF coil has for me an incredible meaning. Working together shoulder to shoulder with more than 700 professionals across Europe. The collaboratory spirit among the different parties, which is essential and outstanding, competent and passionate team. And last but not least, the vision and the awareness to be part of a project which can change in better the destiny of our planet. Without any of these factors, it would have been impossible to develop and realize the most complex superconducting magnets ever produced. The other nine TF coils of the ITER tokamak, including one spare, plus the cases for all 19 TF coils, are being produced by JADA, the domestic agency representing Japan. In January, they celebrated the completion of their first TF coil, number 12, which recently arrived to southern France by ship. Tadasan is one of the many people who have dedicated their lives to the global fusion science community. So I'm very pleased to be here to accept uh, this TF coil. This has been the special meaning uh, for me because I was in the team to develop the concept of this coil. And during construction, I was in JD head. I made the contract to start the manufacturing of this TF coil. And then uh, I'm now here as an IO team to receive the, this coil. Ita Japan are very happy that uh, our first TF coil TF-12 has arrived at ITER site uh, very safely. This coil uh, was completed uh, for the first time in the world in January. We always faced uh, technical difficulty. And finally, ideally thanks to the Japanese industry, uh, achieved a coil completion. Now we are on Relief now. It's no longer yeah. you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Now just passing through a new milestone, a very important one. And now we are to complete the work, installation of these coils in the Tokamak pit. So thanks a lot again to all who contribute so beautifully to this achievement. I had the pleasure to visit indeed the workshop in Japan twice and I saw the big progress and also the challenge to be able to comply with a very strict specification. When the coil was completed and all the highest uh, Japanese authority congratulate all who contributed. D due to the coronavirus crisis now, many of them would have liked to join us in this uh, special day and they are remotely in, in the mine with us. 
And again, uh, we want to thank them so much for their very uh, impressive achievement. We've been working on this now for 32 years, so it's quite uh, it's a bit like seeing the baby arrive. How can I say? Almost my son or my my daughter. So, but this is my koi. Of course, we've seen it in stages in the manufacturing. Uh, we, I, I last saw the TF9 when the winding pack was before it was put into the case, and I saw bits of that one uh, as double pancakes in the MHI. But it's quite impressive seeing it here. You realise just how big it is. But of course, when this is just a heap of paper or steel plates lying on the ground, it doesn't quite look like that. Of course, seeing, it, seeing the final item is quite satisfying. And now, after a long ship through the sea, through uh, okay, the itinerary, it just arrived this morning, safe, in good condition, fully complying with expectation. Everything went as per the plan. You know, this itinerary is planned meter after meter. So we don't have many surprises and no mechanical problem either, no hydraulic issue. So it's quite satisfactory. Next one would be here, which is called the PF6, which is even larger and higher. 11 meters wide. This one is 10, 15. So when we were driving, we were anticipating the gouge of the next PF6. And then we'll have the really big bits, which will be the P3 and P4 coils, which will be made in there and come out. And they're going to be the same diameter as the Christ, that they'll be quite impressive. You know, suddenly, this last three months, everything is coming. It, it's moving towards completion. I hope that this success story will be of inspiration for the continuation of this project, as well as for the rest of humankind, which is facing difficult time due to coronavirus. So we believe that we have also a strong contribution to building European industrial innovativeness, and we hope that this will be a contribution to the future green energy mix for Europe. I also thanks to the people working in the France for the transportation, the organization, fusion for energy, the hair, all of the staff are working very hard. It's a very, very difficult time. Stay healthy and take care. So for me, it's quite uh, moving. Many people made it and I want to congratulate them. There are many, many technical challenges we faced, but we uh, finally could overcome this as uh, working as a single team. But I believe we can uh, achieve our goal. Collaborating and working together, there is no obstacle which cannot be overcome. There is no success which cannot be achieved. Let's work uh, together for the future. So this is my message. Thank you. Yeah.